it's me, Hellsbug, and I'm back with another review. Oh man, and this time I have TG25, Orion Pax versus Megatronus. Man, I do think it's so awesome that Takara went and they released uh, the uh, 30th, I guess 30th anniversary. Megatron, the IDW version, as uh, Megatronus. I think that's awesome. And, uh, wow, the color scheme on them is outstanding. I gotta say. And also for Orion Pax. Now, I will admit, I'm not that big a fan of Orion Pax. Not the character, but just the um, toy. The toy is fine, but just nothing really special. Nothing that makes me feel like, well, I gotta have it. But, man... Megatronus is fantastic. And we'll take a look. And you can probably just see from the packaging. Yeah, look at those colors. I mean, even Orion Pack looks much, much better. And that isn't to say there's anything wrong with the uh, Hasbro versions. The Hasbro's versions were very, very nice. I like them. I got them and like them. But, uh, man, it's the Takara version that comes through again. I mean, their paint schemes... Wow, they really, really do an awesome job. And, uh, man, it's excellent. So, uh, let's take a look so then we can get to the toys. So, uh, first we'll go and turn the box. And we're going to look at uh, Orion Pax's Tech Specs. Alright, let me try to go in there like there. If you can see it, I hope you can. And, uh, alright, so we have Orion Pax. And he's got the strength of a three. Uh, the uh, intelligence of a nine, that's good. Um, well, he's got speed of a four, endurance of a four, rank of a two, courage of a ten, fire blast of a one. One? I mean, come on. One? That's the second toy I got with a one. I mean, Arms Micron Swerve has a one fire blast, and Orion Pax. One day, he will be the legendary Optimus Prime. And right now, he is using a pea shooter. I mean, at this point, just pick up a rock and throw it because I do know that Wheelie has a higher fire blast than that. And he used a slingshot. Come on. Well, all right, after that disappointment, let's turn it. Oh, and also, he had the skill of a nine, which is great. All right. And we turn to the back, and you get awesome pictures, which is blocked by... Uh, meaningless uh, stickers that they got to put on because of the imports. And uh, let's go to Megatronus and see if he fares better. Alright, and we have Megatronus's tech specs and Megatronus has the strength of an 8, intelligence of a 9, speed of a 7, endurance of a 6, rank of a 3, courage of a 10, Fire Blast of a 7 and Skill of a 9. Much more well-rounded. So if this were a fight, um, Orion Pax is going to get stomped. He's going to get a mud hole stomped in him. And Megatronus is going to walk it dry. I mean, really. Alright, let's go back to the front. Alright, and let's get to the toys. Open them up. Get to the reviewing. Get to the summation and get to the eating. All right, let's go. Woohoo! Can't wait. Man, that Megatronus does look tasty. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, and here we have Orion Pax in his vehicular mode. And it is a nice vehicle, especially when it comes to the detail work. The, the metallic red that they use is outstanding. Uh, it really makes the toy pop. Uh, and even on this part here, it's normally like a gray, flat gray, but this is very silver and metallic -y, so it really pops the toy. I mean, it really does help the toy. The colors, again, outstanding all the way around on the toy. And this blue windshield that they gave it, excellent. And even if we go to the front for a moment, yeah. We look at the front, nice paint apps done on it. They did a good job painting these parts. You know, the smaller one, yeah, it's a little bit off, but not too bad. 
you know, and I do like this blue. It really pops, really works. And let me bring in the uh, Hasbro version. And as you can see on my Hasbro version, the paint job is not as expertly done. And you can also see, they put them side by side. You can see the color difference, or you should be able to see, for the red. This is an extremely metallic, shiny red. And this one is nice red, but it's not this rich red color. And this is really a beautiful red and makes the toy look a thousand times better. And uh, from the fronts, you know, you can see how this uh, blue windshield really pops the toy as opposed to the clear. So, there you go. Ryan Pax. So we'll get to the transformation. All right. All let's right. Go. And now let's get to transforming Ryan Pax. And so first we're going to go and just flip out this front piece here. And I usually separate over there. All right. And so we can just go once we separate and just push them out to the sides like this. All right. Once we do that, now I go over to the arms and we just pop them out one too. And I will say, the Takara version is a lot stiffer than the uh, Hasbro. So you pop these guys out right here, and we can lift up. You know, let's take care of his legs right now. So we're going to separate the legs here. Turn it around. So the feet, we just push down and rotate the feet. Push down and rotate like this. All right, now these side panels just go down, flip up, and they lock in place like that. And we'll do the same right here. So you just come down, this part comes down here, this part goes here. You get that nice little clicky lock, and we can rotate the waist. So we're already done with the waist. Okay, so now we got our Ryan packs. And it's like this, and you're going to want to pop that. It's kind of locked into place like this when it's in car mode. You want to push forward, unlock it so you can lift up, so we can get the tires to the back. So you move the tires to the back there. Then we're going to come over here and separate the arms, which just very easily come out. So pull out the sides. Once we do that, we're going to lock the body into place. So we just push down and this might, this takes a little bit there it goes. Once it pops in there, it's in there tight. I mean that's real tight. So once we do that, take the shoulders we'll take these shoulders here, move them forward, lock shoulders, move forward, lock that there turn, turn the elbows so you got the arrows, then pop out his arms, or his hands I should say. Same thing here, pop out a hand. And the last one is of course the head reveal. And then we have nice, very nice Orion Pax. Like I said, I like this toy, but it's not one of my favorite primes. I mean it just, it's nice. But the real showstopper is Megatronus. I mean, just, I think everybody already knows that from having this toy if you got the Hasbro version. And really, the Takara version is very nice, but it's not like the uh, Megatronus. Megatronus must have this one. Good. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'll go and uh, show you more details and comparison for. Uh, for Ryan Pax. Alright, let's go. Alright, and I just wanted to get these guys a uh, little bit close up on their face so you can see the difference now. The uh, Hasbro actually has a darker color helmet and uh, the face is a dark gray whereas the Takara has a lighter color and if you notice uh, the crest is all gray but the uh, Takara is blue outlined with the silver on it and same mold, just, you know, this is more about, like, taste. What do you like? What don't you like? So for these guys. And I did have to move their shoulders 
so I could get them close together. But uh, yeah, so hold on a second. Let me just go move the arms back in. So put the Hasbro right there. And here we go, Kara. Same right there. All right, just have them both together. And pretty much guns will be identical. The the uh, the Takara version is just a little bit darker. And I don't know that it'll show up even if I come closer and move these guys in. I mean, just just a hair bit darker. It really can't. It's not coming off, but uh, yeah, you'll have to trust me on it. The uh, Takara's gun is a little bit, but the axes, the axes have big difference, of course. Whereas the Hasbro version is red, black staff, it's a dark silver, and it's orange for uh, Takara. But when you look at two of them, paint apps are essentially the same. <coughs> the biggest difference being this chest, you know, being blue and not blue here. But all the paint apps are about the same. The difference being that the Hasbro went with just the gray. And actually in a lot of areas instead of just being gray it's silver painted. So this is silver painted. The crotch area is silver painted. Of course here. Here's silver. So there are some. Actually there are some paint apps on there. That uh, aren't on the Hasbro version. But you know it's a nice nice figure in general you know I I kinda like him he's not one of my favorite primes but he's alright but the real pest de resistance is uh, would be Megatronus so let's get to Megatronus alright and here we have Megatronus in his vehicular mode and it is a dark dark black the Hasbro version is more of a, uh, I think, a cool gray, but this is dark black, and you'll probably notice the uh, purple paint that paint apps that they use. The red here is much, much d deeper. You know, it's much more uh, higher U than the uh, than the Hasbro version, and. Uh, just like this area is like a gray, silvery gray. All right, let me just bring in um, the Hasbro. And while you might think, oh, they look pretty close. Well, the Hasbro kind of has a little bit of a purple color to these vents here. They're a little bit purple tint. Same thing with this part here. It's a purple tint instead of being the gray. So there are some differences. Same with the vents up here and the vents in front. And I will say it does have one extra paint app, which is here on the Hasbro version. This is painted, whereas on the Takara it's not. But yeah, and you should be able to see a little bit the difference. This is kind of speckled, and the uh, Takara version is not speckled, and it is a much deeper black, which really works for Megatronus in his robot mode. But yep, and of course he does have landing gear in the front. Nice looking vehicle, so let's go and take him into his robot mode. All, All right. right, so let's take Megatronus into his robot mode. So first we're gonna push down like this and this and move his wing tips, which will become his cannon after that. All right, next thing we're gonna do is just push down and move his arms and get those out of the way so just wiggle it move it out of the way and then we're gonna get his legs the legs just pop out and they're like this so we're just gonna turn it this way and then just extend the foot out so we're gonna come over here All right. we're gonna turn it so we're gonna turn it that way and then we just extend the foot out and we're going to turn it this way so the back is facing you. So turn it this way, push the feet down. So we got half a Megatron done already. Okay, next thing we're going to do 
is we're going to take the shoulder pieces and we're going to move them back and we're also going to go and separate so you just have to just have to lift up on them okay so you just come over here and we just lift up and they separate like that because that's going to allow you to get this piece up here okay which is going to have to attach here get that open because if you don't open these guys up it makes it more difficult so of course this part's going to come down okay we're going to start moving these guys so the arms body's going to flip down that's yeah, supposed to do like this hold on what just happened here he's getting stuck inside all right there it goes all right so once you fold this down now you have to if you see the spine it can't be straight it's got to be bent just a little bit and that's going to give enough to where this piece can lock into there like that and then you have Megatron now we just take this piece and we're going to lock it up here like this same over here lock it in turn down the arm turn down the arm here up oh, lock them back into place okay now we got his arm twist the arm and we're going to just go and take out his fist bend the elbow turn the arm bend the elbow take out the fist and we're almost done with Megatronus and already man you could just see how awesome he is now we just the last thing is we're going to take his guns and first thing you do just take this piece and pull out so same thing here just take this and we're going to go and we're going to push which way? Oh, this one gets stuck For some reason this one there it goes right here this one's really tight I don't know why the one with the handle so pull down the handle so you have the two pieces and you're just going to put them together and man this is such a nice color I mean it really looks like it's glowing and then we just go take this pop it right here in his arm and wow there we have Megatronus and I'm just going to try to come a little bit closer because man that is just fantastic figure and we'll get to comparing them to the Hasbro version but I did just want to show you on his own man now that is awesome that right there this is the one to get I mean this is why you buy the pack for this Megatron Megatronus right here is awesome I mean just look at that that face everything else perfect all right, let's get to the details. All right, and yeah, he does have light piping, but I have to put this light directly over his head. Let me move that back. Take a look at it. Hey, man, wow. Megatronus looks absolutely fantastic. All the little details put on him, those little blue, ac blue purple accents on him, the dark black, I mean, this takes this figure to the next level and I really really makes this this guy work hold on let me move that back and then sharpen it up yep and if I just pull back just a little bit right there here he is and hold on I will put him next to the Hasbro version and as you can see there is a marked difference between these two toys. I mean, absolutely wow. I mean, this really shows the potential of this toy. And this one is just, it's good, just like Orion Pax. I mean, Orion Pax is good, the Hasbro version is good, but Takara takes it to another level. I mean, this figure is light years ahead of this one and it's all just little things little details that just work you know I mean, as, as weird as it is having on on a Megatronus's head and if I can zoom in you, know, you have that M the purple M for Megatronus on his head yeah, so let's move this 
Now hold on. Yeah, you can see that am on his head. You know, it's silly, but it's cool in a way. I'm Megatron. Whereas the Hasbro version, you can still see it, but they didn't accent it. And having the colors, have making them much more simple, black, black with the accents of purple as opposed to purple, 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 all over, I mean, makes him work so much more and makes him into just an awesome, awesome figure. So, man, I love this. This is awesome. Nothing wrong with uh, Megatron, but Megatronus is where it's at. And really, this is the definitive version of the figure. It makes you kind of wish they had separated Orion Pax and Megatronus. Because for me, Orion Pax is just an okay toy. It would be much better if you could just get Megatronus. But... I'm, Orion Pax is still great too. It's nice. I got them for a good price, so I don't feel bad about what I paid. You know, I paid for the two pack, I basically paid maybe six dollars more than what I would pay for uh, the US version. Yeah. Because uh, in Taiwan, the prices on the Hasbro versions is high. So uh, for me, this is really worth it. But uh, I know the import and everything else, yeah, the prices get high. So, uh, yeah, let's get to the summation. All right, let's go. All right, time for the summation. And I think through this whole video, you could tell. I done loves these toys. I mean, they're both great. I mean, I'm not as big a fan of the Orion Packs, but for the Megatronus, yes, please. I mean, Orion Pax is great, and his uh, coloring job is much better, but it's not so much better that I would say, oh, you need to buy this one. I mean, it's not that much better than the uh, Hasbro version, but Megatronus, on the other hand, is a must, must, must get. I mean, he's absolutely fantastic. I mean, he's the right colors for that mold. I mean, the only thing that could have made him better is if they done made him a Voyager. Now that would be awesome! But uh, let's just cut to the chase. So, are they nice? Yep, and yep. Shiny? Oh man, look at the shiny paint. Yes, they are shiny. Are they good? Yes, and super yes. I mean, so nice, shiny, and good. So, with this kind of setup, because they ain't the size of the Bumblebee and Optimus where I could eat them with one bite. But, uh, so let's just go and, uh, <coughs> oh man, that is good. That's a good one, but now the savory part. Oh, it smells so good. <sighs> oh. Megatronus is so good. Nice, shiny, and good. Good toys. Good toys. Uh, bye!